Good morning, everybody. Here's what we're having for breakfast. Look at some bacon, some cheesy eggs, some toast, some coffee, and then I've got some potatoes going in the oven. Oh, yeah. You guys know that I like breakfast a lot. It's like my favorite meal. And here it is. So on my way to Universal right now, Kaylee and Jen are behind me somewhere in a car, but I don't know, even know if you guys can tell, but look at the storm behind us compared to what's in front of us. Like, that's no fun. So, the last time that we came here, there was a little bit of an issue with us getting through and having water, but I can tell you now, that's because it was a Friday night, and the way that you can tell if you're able to bring water in or not is if they have trash cans out here. If there's big black trash cans in front of the lines, you won't be able to bring water in. If they're not here, then you won't have to worry about it. As I'm walking in behind Kaylee and Jen, I just noticed that they're wearing their bows. Wait, wait, is that a Mickey? Is that a Mickey necklace? What? Oh, no, I think it's just oh, three balls. Oh, it kind of is, though. It looks like it's a Mickey like, look, necklace. It's like a hidden Mickey. Right? Check out that hidden Mickey in Universal. Uh, oh, I ruined your bow shot. I'm sorry. So I was looking at them, and I was taking a look at She's got her Slytherin bow in. It's kind of dark. I'm sorry. And Jen's got her Ravenclaw bow in. Yay! Very thanks nice. to Magical Ribbons. Here's a better look at their air bows. Wait. Slytherin? Ravenclaw. So, here's the thing. This is called NBC Sports Grill Brew. I'm gonna try to tell you guys as much that I know about what's going on and what's coming to Universal, but I do have to warn you guys, not all of it is confirmed. This one's confirmed. If I tell you I hear a rumor, I'll tell you it's a rumor. NBC Sports Grill Brew is coming along quite well. There's a lot of stuff going on. I like that this minion has a ukulele. That's fun. I'll tell you one thing you won't see in here, that's poop snacks. It's the Tim Tracker Transformer shirt. So there are, we just came out of the Universal store right here. Here's Despicable Me over here, Shrek and all that other stuff. There, There is a side entrance over here, but there is a huge amount of construction walls here that we don't know what they're for yet, but they're here. See, there's an entrance over there. Rumor number one, Betty Boop and I Love Lucy are leaving in turn for um, Hello Kitty store. The parade is coming up this street, so we're quick getting out of the way so it's not <laughs> interrupting us. Look guys, it's Minion Cotton Candy or Candy Floss, whatever you want to call it. That's really fun the two different kinds of minions. Oh no, it's probably gonna rain on us. Nobody really likes it when everybody claps together. Optimus Prime. Welcome, Freedom Fighters. Autobots, oh, wow. Good news, Freedom Fighters, we saved the planet again. We're getting really good at that. Nice work, Freedom Fighters. Something that I missed last time, was there, there was a Long Duck Dong Pop figure. Last time I showed you guys the silly looking T-Rex or whatever that thing was, this time they've got Velociraptors. They look less silly. They look a little bit menacing, but their teeth are still like roundy which makes them weird. I survived Jurassic Park the ride and now I need a shot. Look at this thing on the uh, t-shirt. It says do not <laughs> do not feed after midnight. Literally the best branding I've ever seen. Stay Puft, Ghostbusters, Marshmallow Blaster. Amazing. It shoots what? marshmallows. Oh dear. Another day, another rainstorm. Now they have a Star we're in the Starbucks in Universal right now and they have a you are here collection but they don't have the like a universal you are here. They just have Florida and Orlando. First rumor or a second rumor Beetlejuice Graveyard Review will be leaving. The guy's playing his saxophone in there. Good news is the dial is back now. I don't know if you can use it or not, but if you dial magic, it dials the Ministry of Magic. We stopped into Leaky Cauldron for some lunch and maybe to sit out the storm. Jen and Kaylee are taking a photo in front of the actual Leaky Cauldron. When everybody talks about the theming at Universal, this is what we're talking about. Jen got toad in the hole. Kaylee got... Cottage pie. pie. I got the chicken sandwich. And I also got sticky toffee pudding. So it should be noted that because we are in the wizarding world, everything has to be a little bit healthier. So the portions are a little bit smaller than normal. Just finished uh, at Leaky Cauldron. It was delicious as always. The Leaky Cauldron is in the running for number one theme park restaurant on USA Today. So if you guys want to, go over there and vote for them because they're definitely a really good restaurant. USAToday.com. Not looking good outside. It's looking awfully dark. I'll tell you what, the dragon looks awesome right now though. Everybody got good pictures of the castle at Magic Kingdom in the rain. Hopefully we get good pictures of the dragon here with the lightning in the rain. Just started raining right now. It's raining. I like this Hogwarts Express beer stein. It's huge. Look at this weird snow globe. It's, oh, it's like, like a, a flat. It's a oh. snow disc. Snow disc. Snow like disc. It certainly is nice that it is covered here in Diagon Alley. Like this is the way to build a theme park. A giant covered area. Look at this mass exodus of tour group right now. They're like still trying to like coordinate how they're gonna run through the rain. It's raining! Excitement is abounding! My new umbrella is like dripping on me. What the heck? Brand new. $20 umbrella getting dripped on. I think we're gonna try to ride Men in Black. Look! Minion Stewart! 
I think we're gonna try to ride Men in Black, maybe. Let's see. Put my stuff in a locker here to go on Men in Black, but look at how good it is back here. Like, this is the furthest away from rain that you can get. Like, here. How awesome is that? My shoes are soaked. So, so cold, riding Men in Black right now. Who? Holy macaroni, there's nobody on this ride. Look at this. No, we're not stuck on Men in Black. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's see if it says what our average score is again. It just said it, it said it was like 800 some odd thousand. There it is right there. In case you guys were wondering where the worst spot to get stuck on Men in Black is, it's right here because there's a speaker like right above us and it's so loud. That burp is haunting my dreams. I like being stuck here because Will Smith is constantly coming on and telling us how great we are. You people are MIB material. But you are too. Most inexperienced bunch of people in the San Thanks, Will Smith. MIB material. But you are too. The most inexperienced bunch of folks ever sat in them seats. Try it again. Thanks, Will Smith. You people are MIB material. But you are too. The most inexperienced bunch of folks ever sat in them seats. Try it again. Thanks, Will Smith. You people are MIB material. But you are too. The most inexperienced bunch of folks ever sat in them seats. Try it again. Thanks, Will Smith. You I would have enjoyed Will Smith a lot more if I had gotten my cup of coffee. Thanks, Will Smith. Oh, we're moving. Yay! And you is so happy. Oh, boy. Get to hear that song again. And you never and you know. Looking better, for sure. Well... At least we got these out of it. These are express passes that are good until the 16th for most rides. Like we can use it on Forbidden Journey, but we can't use it on Gringotts. So that's pretty good. I feel like I'm at Horror Nights right now because of all the rain. Next rumor, Twister, ride it out. Uh, not gonna be around for too much longer. The rumor is that it's going to be the Jimmy Fallon experience with a uh, Soren type ride. Should be pretty fun. This is a rumor that I've been hearing around and they're going to redo this entire facade here so that it looks more like 30 Rockefeller Center. It was just a giant strike of lightning that went across the entire sky and everybody in the park let out a collective <gasps> It was neat. It was ominous. It was ominous. Most ominous. Most ominous. Most. Call me crazy, but I probably wouldn't try to take a picture in front of this giant metal ball during the lightning. <laughs> the best part about driving in Orlando in the rain is there are no lines in the road during the rain. Sometimes there are. But for the most part, no, good luck. Like, you get one of them. You just like follow one. Or you have to look like right next to your headlights because you can see them right at your headlights. But if you look a little bit further out, nope, just maybe follow behind the guy ahead of you. An excellent day at Universal Studios. Although I am getting a little bit annoyed with this rain. I will be honest with you guys. The rain doesn't usually last all night in the summer. Usually it's like three o'clock rolls around, crazy thunderstorm, and then by like five, it's gone. But for whatever reason this year it's not doing that. They're lasting. They like start at like three, four, five or something like that. And they stay all night. I don't know why, but we'll deal with it. Because I mean, we have to. We're in Florida. <laughs> so I'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.